Hey folks, Malforn here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're just going to be having a bit of a discussion video. Uh, the topic that we're going to talk about today came up in a recent live stream that I did on Crusader Kings 3, and I thought it sounded like a cool topic to talk about. So here we are today. And uh, this all came about because as we were playing through, the discussion came up that it seems that since the Tours and Tournaments patch and the DLC came out, that the world kind of seems a little bit more alive. It seems like more stuff does generally happen in the game, but we were talking about how you could improve that further. And it basically boiled down to inspired characters. Now, not the kind that make artifacts for you. They are pretty good, but this would be inspired landed characters. So this would be someone such as, you know, here, the petty king of Wessex. And this system would basically like personify their ambitions or their supposed greatness or something and it would push them to do something that say maybe a play would do on their own some of not really achievements but some of the decisions that you get in game that you very rarely see the ai do like unite britannia unite the slavs form the roman empire or something like that you know these decisions that players work towards but i don't generally see the AI ever do. They do some of them, but very rarely do they do, you know, unite the Western Slavs or, like I say, form the Roman Empire or something like that. So, so what this system would do is basically pick a character and get them to kind of push towards one of these things that you wouldn't usually see them do themselves. So, for example, as we said, the, uh, the Duke here of Wessex, it would kind of proc on him and he would suddenly think, well, do you know what? I think I should unite all of Britannia under my rule, or alternatively something like, oh, I think all Anglo-Saxons should be united under my rule, I know best for my culture, and it would basically push them to work towards one of those things. So if we pick one of them that isn't a decision that a player can do, but it is a pretty good example, I think, so it would spawn an event on this character, and that character would basically get a decision, it would come up saying, you know, maybe he just wakes up and thinks, I think I should unite all the Anglo-Saxon people, I know best for our culture i think i can lead us to greatness and then if they accepted the decision because i think these would also work quite well for players as well although it would have to have some controls which we are going to talk about later it would give them decision if they accepted it it would like activate a buff on them or a trait or something and it would give them some special kind of rules that would allow them to try finish this inspiration so if it was to unite the anglo-saxons maybe it would give them a casus belli on all anglo-saxon counties so if we have a look cultures here it's basically england and a little bit of like southern scotland and it would basically give him a casus belli on all those lands and allow him to then work towards them and it would push the ai to try do this it would tell the ai you want to do this use these casus belli to try unify the anglo-saxons and then it would push to do it and the cool thing you could do with this as well is if they say died halfway through because you know that is quite a large feat to do then maybe it would proc on his son or his daughter and say, you know, your father was trying to unite the Anglo-Saxons. Do you wish to take up his cause? And maybe if they're ambitious as well or something like that, they'd go, yep, I'm going to carry on his dream. I'm going to try and do this. I think it would only work if it was time limited anyway. So maybe you had like 20 or 30 years or something to do it. Um, otherwise, it could obviously go on forever. But uh, yeah, give them that option. Or maybe if they're, you know, lazy or craven or something, they just say, nah, his dream died with him. I'm I'm happy with what I've got. I, I'm not going to do anything more than this. And then that kind of inspiration would end and, you know, kind of finish off the chance for that to happen on that character, which, like I say, I think it'd be pretty cool for trying to push characters to do certain things in the game. Now, obviously, it would have to be kind of limited. I think if it was only, say, every, like, 50 or... 100 years this could happen and it could only be active like on one character on the map i wouldn't want this happening all the time because as you can imagine it could get out of hand pretty quickly even though obviously then they're, they're not always going to be successful but but you could see obviously how it could be if uh, it kind of spiraled out of control so um yeah i think only if you could have this maybe every 50 100 years and on top of that maybe you'd have to be a certain rank of prestige or maybe your house had to have a certain renown level or something like that so it doesn't trigger on every character and especially if you had traits such as like ambitious or diligent or something along those lines, it would kind of push them to do those certain kind of, you know, these kind of tasks basically on those characters to try push their realm into something greater. So yeah, that would be one example of it. Another idea I had is say, so we've got the leader of the Byzantines here. Maybe he is especially ambitious on a character, maybe brave and ambitious or something. And he's got a lot of prestige and it spawns the event, and he thinks, you know what, we should retake the Western Roman Empire, or we should try form 
the full Roman Empire, restore ourselves to glory, and they would basically, again, get a special Casus Belli, you know, restore the Roman Empire, and then they would push towards trying to do it and, you know, form the Roman Empire again. Because, as I've said, the AI is never going to do that on their own. I've, I don't think I've ever seen it happen. I'd be amazed if anyone ever has seen the AI ever do it because of what you need to do to get it. Like, in theory, the AI could do it, but the chances of hitting all the requirements are so slim, I don't think it would ever happen. But uh, yeah, they would get this. They'd then try form the Roman Empire. And maybe if you're not playing in the Byzantines, if you're up here in Lotharingia somewhere, you get a little event that pops up saying, are oh, we hear tales from the Byzantines of a crazy ruler who wishes to restore the glory of Rome? Do you want to kind of watch what happens, basically? Just to kind of prompt you into knowing what's going on, and also give a little bit of cool kind of living world aspect to hearing tales of far away. Or maybe if you're in the Byzantine Empire and you get that event, it says, like, you know, do you want to help him? And maybe you can get, like, a limited version of the Casus Belli or something to kind of help push the lands out and you get some kind of opinion modifier with your ruler or something like that. Like I say, there's a lot of ideas we could have with this system, but I think it would be cool for trying to push the AI into doing certain things. Because if you think about it, the Mongol invasion is kind of like this system. You do have a character that spawns and he basically just tries taking over as much of the map as he can before he dies basically and then his successor children kind of have this as well where sometimes they will keep the mongols together and they'll carry on trying to do it or they obviously splinter off into you know the golden horde and things like that and they uh, kind of generally fall apart or go into warring against each other and things like that so if you're trying to like visualize how this system would work think of how the mongols work but it would be for other characters maybe as an alternative one you're up here in uh, Minsk, and for whatever reason, you don't like the religion you're in. You get one of those events where you convert to something else. Maybe you convert into like a heretic religion, maybe something like Lollards or something like that. And basically what this would do is you already see this kind of event in the game where you get told like, oh, this ruler over here is converted and you know, isn't that crazy? But you can say, no, I don't know. They've, they've got some good ideas. I'm going to convert as well. Now, what this would do instead is he would convert to become a Lollard, and then instead of just kind of randomly converting his vassals and things like that, if he was a zealous character, especially, it would maybe spawn this event where he'd say, look, in my lifetime, I want to spread the word of God how we believe it to be. And they kind of go on like a mini crusade, and they just basically try to spread the religion as far as they could before he died. Again, if he died, if his son was zealous as well or something, he could carry it on. He'd get a chance to at least... But again, if he's cynical or something, he'd maybe just go, yeah, whatever, my dad was a bit crazy. I'm just going to chill in Minsk and we're not going to do any more of that. Thank you very much. But it would kind of like push some craziness to happen on the map. I wouldn't even say really craziness. It would just be like cool little things you would see happen. Some spreads of kingdoms or empires that would be interesting to spot. and would be cool stories to kind of retell during your campaigns. And maybe not even something as crazy big as this. Maybe you just have something really simple like, you know, the High Chieftain of Prussia here. He gets the event, he's the kind of lucky character that gets chosen, and he'd just think, do you know what? I'm tired of just being the High Chief of Prussia. I want to form Lithuania. And it would basically push him to claim all of Lithuania again, give him some kind of Casus Belli that would make it a little bit easier. Nothing too crazy, maybe like half the cost, or he gets some bonus troops for a little while or something like that, because he's maybe inspired people to help. You know, he'd just try form Lithuania, and if he did it, that would just end it. And then, as I said at the beginning, maybe there'd be like a 50 or 100 year cooldown, just so these don't happen all the time. And then when that cooldown ended, another character would be picked and they'd kind of do something the same. Or maybe not even that. Maybe even 50 and 100 is too short. I mean, ideally, I think this would only happen maybe once, twice, three times a game. So yeah, probably 50 or 100 is a little bit too short. But I think you get what I'm trying to kind of think of during this. And um, yeah, that's basically it, guys. A bit of a Bit of a rambling discussion video again on the channel this week so yeah let me know what you think in the comments down below do you like the sound of this system like i say i wouldn't want it happening all the time but i think it would just add a little bit of kind of cool spontaneity to some things and especially towards these decisions like i say that don't ever happen by characters the ai control like secure the high kingdom of the north sea especially over here this prussian character if the ai plays them is never gonna do this ever you could run the game forever and it would never happen i believe anyway but with this system you know maybe it would maybe it would proc on this prussian character and he'd go do you know what i want to secure the high kingdom of the north sea it'll give them a special version of this 
not making it easier, but kind of just allowing them to be kind of pushed towards doing it. And then you just see whether he was successful. Probably wouldn't be. But again, I think it'd be kind of cool to see it happen and see what would occur if it did. Or even here, restore the Holy Roman Empire. Maybe he is especially holy. Maybe he sees a vision of Jesus or something. Or the Pope, you know, comes and pays him a visit and says, do you know what? You're a holy character. Don't think the Holy Roman Empire is a cool idea. So, you know, why don't you go and do this for me? Thank you very much. And maybe he would go do it and say, okay, yeah, I'm I'm inspired. I'm a zealous character. I'm ambitious. I'm going to go form the HRE. And you would see the HRE form naturally, which you do sometimes see. I've sometimes seen the HRE form, but it is pretty rare for the AI to do it. But, you know, it'd be cool to see it maybe a little more often. Um, but yeah, that is basically it, guys. That's the video for today. Like I say, just a bit of a discussion uh, theory of how a new system could work in the DLC that's coming next year, maybe. And yeah, as I said, let me know in the comments down below. Do you think this is cool? Do you think it's a terrible idea? Uh, what kind of limitations would you like? Would you like them to work towards decisions? Maybe even if they were a living legend, maybe they'd work towards an achievement or something crazy like that. Something totally insane. But uh, yeah, let me know what you think in the comments down below. If you've enjoyed the video today, hit that like button. It helps other people find the video and the channel in the future. And if you are new here, I cover Crusader Kings. I do narrative campaigns, cover the dev diaries, do news, all that good stuff. So subscribe. I also play other strategy games on the channel as well, if you like that kind of thing. But uh, we'll leave it there for today, and I'll see you in the next one.